السلام عليكم صباح الخير أليكس الحمد لله صباح الخير السلام عليكم كريستيان كل شيء مزيان كل شيء مزيان صباح اليوم كل شيء مزيان أويكم تو إيفري وان أند جود مورنين صباح الخير عليكم كنتمنى تكونوا بخير أي هوب ذات يو أول دو وان ويل I just like made me a coffee, like for fast. Salam Maris, Bah Noor. Kush you zian? Kush bhatu liuma? How are you feel today? Like how did you wake up? Kush bhatu? Alex, kush bhati? Christian, Mary. Kush you zian? So yeah, as you know, yesterday we've done um, the in the morning tea. We talked about vegetables, uh, like in the like before, and we talked like yesterday about like the fruits, fawaki or desir. And actually, today we're going to do the spices, and as well we're going to talk about some herbs. And what I'm going to give is what we really have in Morocco and what we really use in day in our like daily life. And what we will use in cooking. So yeah, the weather these days is good. <laughs> it's nice and glad. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah, excuse, it's excuse you already excuse my morning voice. Like I really, my voice is changing in the morning. It's just like. Um, I normally like don't really talk much. No, I do like I'm talkative, but. <laughs> My voice sometimes like it feels weird in the morning. Sbah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So yeah, uh, as I said, like uh, yesterday, we're going to talk about. Um, we're going to start actually with the um, the spices, and uh, is like the first word that I'm going to try and say. And try to teach you how to say it in Darija. So spices in Darija are called latria, latria or tzera, tzera. Okay. So spices are latria, latria. So number three is the sound. So latria, latria. You can put a vowel between number three and T. That will be fine. It, it wouldn't change a thing. So you can say latria very fast, and you can also say latria. Okay. So the second word that you can also use is tabzira. It also means spices. Like it's just about different region, and everyone use like a, a different word sometimes. But we all like understand each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, latria. Latria or tabzira, tabzira. Try and repeat it after me. Tabzira. Okay. If you find the first one easier, say it. Latria. Okay. So this is mean spices. So as I think every in every country, the first uh, like spice that we all use is black pepper, which is called lbzar. Lbzar. L, 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 lbzar. Lbzar. Okay. Take notes of these ones. Lbzar. So pretty much we put lbzar in everything. We put black pepper in every meal. Uh, tagine, stila, uh, except sweet things, of course. Not, uh, not like uh, all the time. We sometimes like just like put uh, a little bit of it, but not too much. But in tagine, uh, couscous, like couscous, uh, every meal in Morocco we mostly like use black bazaar. Like it's it's a must. It's something we sh we like we can't like don't have in the in the home. Like every home have it, and I think in every like country probably, I think. Okay, second thing that we can't live without. We can, it's just like, it, doesn't, it wouldn't taste the same. Is salt. Al-milha. Al-milha. 
الملحه سو البزار از بلاك بيبر اند الملحه از سالت الملحه 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 I think this one is like a bit easy الملحه اوكي okay. are you repeating after me الملحه yes Okay, let's go for the second. If you find any one, any of them like hard to pronounce, please let me know and I will repeat it. Okay, so lbzar, almilha, and skin jbir. So ginger is skin jbir. Skin is like skin, but we emphasize the k, so it's become like skin, skin jbir, skin jbir. Okay. So you can divide it to two, not like in writing, but when you try to pronounce skin jbir, skin jbir. Okay, it makes it easy for pronunciation for you. If you're going to like think about it as a, as like two words, two separated words, and you pronounce them fast, like skin jbir, skin jbir. Okay, skin jbir. That's ginger. Skin jbir. Okay, easy, right? So that's. If you think of that easy, this is like an like another easy word is actually the common in English is kamun in Darija, which is like very easy. Il kamun, il kamun. Salam shivam, ne basalik il kamun, il kamun. Okay, il kamun. Okay, is like this one is like really easy. Now let's go to the next one. Is the cinnamon is al karfa? Let me put it here. Al karfa. Al karfa. Al karfa. You can. I can make it easy because it wouldn't change the meaning if I add vowel. Karfa. You can pronounce pronounce it as like this. Al karfa. Al ka. Al ka. Al karfa. Al karfa. شيفام لا بس الحمد لله شكرا أنا مزيان البقى في شوية ناس لكن ما لي سليب يا يوك أب اللي فقص بكري بالزف and I'm trying to get used to it okay so turmeric is الخرقوم this is have numbers so I'm going to try it to write it in a different way ل خر قوم Okay. الخرقوم 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 Okay. ل ل الخرقوم So I would uh, because like for spices like even if you're going to add a little bit vowels or something like that it's still it's going to make sense because we don't have a similar thing for it in uh, other words so that's why I would like Okay, you can write this as whatever you want. We're still like going to understand it, and you can add vowels in them. Al kharqum because uh, somehow they came like from um, either like Arabic, standard Arabic, or other language. Anyway, so al kharqum turmeric is al kharqum, kharqum. So I'm going to go straight to paprika. So paprika we don't use it as often. But every house have it. We like spices, so we do have them. So paprika is tahmira. 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 If you found this hard to pronounce, you can still add a vowel, and it's going to give you that. Tahmira. Okay? Tahmira. Either you say tahmira, tahmira very fast, or you can you take your time, add the vowel, and say tahmira. Okay. Oh, that tastes good. <laughs> I need it that. Okay, so yes, we see we said like so far, العطريه العطريه الملح is salt, البزار is black pepper, skin beer is ginger, الكمون is cumin, القرفة is cinnamon, and تحميرم is paprik. So what's left is like, you know, we do have like the red hot pepper pow as a powder and we cook with it when we want like things to be like um, a little bit like hot. So we say like, 
Sudania. We call it Sudania. 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 Okay, are you repeating after me? It's called Sudania. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, but this is a one, I don't know, like if you do use them in cooking, we don't use it as often, but like in important meals, uh, they do use it. Yes, kapsa <laughs> is a pinch of paprika, yes. Saffron is zafran, zafran. I can help you with that. Zafran, zafran, z z z zafran. Okay, zafran. You are following with me so far? Okay, so let's go with this one also. Absolutely, yes. I'm going to finish with the um, with the, the spices first, so that like we will have them like uh, organized, and then I would like move to measurements as well. Salam, <laughs> Joanna. So the nutmeg. I don't know if you use that as often. Sometimes we use them when we want to uh, make like um, uh, some cookies, some kind of cookies in Morocco. So they would use that. But they do they use just a little bit from it because this is like it's make you feel dizzy or something. Uh, I don't know, like kind of like kind of drug or something. I'm sorry, my face is red. Like I just finished like workout and yeah. So yeah, lguza, uh, It's called lguza. Okay, lguza, lguza. You emphasize the lguza, lguza. Yeah, so lguza. Okay, so one of uh, my favorites in winter time because it helps when you get a cold or something, and also somehow uh, when I make a homemade um, pizza, I put it like um, above the sauce and it makes it like good, <laughs> tastes good. Is zatar, zatar, zatar. Z z zatter, okay. Uh, yeah. By the way, Shiva, this is what I was telling you yesterday, like a zatter, the erango or whatever it's called in English, and I forgot the word in English. So that's that's what I was talking about. Zatter, zatter, okay. Z zatter, okay. So we, it's like very important for us. Like it's like good for the stomach. It's good for stomach pain. It's good good for the cold for um. Uh, cramps for a lot of things. So we do drink it when someone gets sick, <laughs> and we also cook with it in certain like things. As I said, like when I make homemade pizza, I do like uh, have like a pinch of uh, zatar, and I would like put it on the sauce, and it tastes good. Yes, zatar. Then, okay, let's go for another one. So we said so far we said la tria, le melha, le bizarre. Sikinjbir, Kamun, Al Karfa, Zatar, Al Guzam, Zafran, and uh, I said Kharkom is like turmeric, yes. And the other one is like cloves, I don't know what it's called, like Kronfil. Isabella, Sbahnor, Labasalik. So, La Kronfil, La Kronfil, okay? Kronfil. Some people like to say it's very fast. As me, like Kronfil, Kronfil, but you can go like slow with it and say Lkronfil, Lkron, Lkron. I know the Qas sound is hard, Lkronfil. But somehow with the spices, if you don't pronounce things correctly, they would still understand you because they don't. We don't have similar uh, similar like words for um, uh, spices in like daily life, so they would like one hundred percent understand what you are talking about. So Lkronfil. Hassan, Sabah Noor, Kershim Zian, Isabella, and Hassan Sabah Noor. Yes, so I said, Lakarunfal. We are talking about spices. I think you still can see the comment section. We already done like some um, 
some of them you can take screenshots or just like take notes of them for fast. See yes, القرنفل. Yeah, I know like it's like really uh, early in the morning. Some some like in other places. Um, okay, so we're going to go with the. We're going to do the spices and also like some herbs and uh, green things. So basil, we use it. Not as often, actually. I don't use it a lot. I don't know how to use it. Rehan uh, and lhbaq. So some people say rehan and some of them, they would say lhbaq. Lhbaq. You can add the vowels if you wanted to as you hear it. Lhbaq. Lhbaq. Okay, lah, lah, bak, bak, lah, bak, lah, bak. Okay, so number nine is mean like the qah, and number seven is the ha for like new people. Okay, rihan, whatever it's easier for you. And uh, for um, what's al qasbar is like, um, I'm going to write it in English first. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correctly in English, but in Darija is al Qusbar. Al Qusbar. Al Qusbar. Al Qusbar. Okay? Al Qusbar. Al Qusbar. So this, this of the things that we put in Herira in uh, Moroccan soap. If you ever tried it. Have you ever tried Herira? Who came to Morocco before? Bakhir. القزبر. Okay. القزبر. القزبر. Okay, so I'm going to give you the things that we cook with, like dairy. So معدنوس is also something we cook with uh, in Moroccan food. Is the price, the parsley. Parsley. I don't know if I pronounce this correct, but المعدنوس. المعدنوس. I'm going to give it in an easy way for pronunciation. المعدنوس. Nus, el madnus, el ma, el ma, el madnus, el madnus. Okay, el madnus is the parsley. We do quick with it. But uh, but herida is is a vegetarian soup. I don't put any meat in my herida. I don't like to put meat or like chicken or anything in it. The, and, and they also like put just like a less spices. So herira is just like a soup with uh, hummus and uh, with uh, matisha tomato, tomato soup with uh, the brasley and all like the good thing with the lentil. Uh, what else with um, what is called sharia? Uh, what is that called? Um, I forgot. Well, it doesn't have meat in it. So it, there is like a vegetarian one, Mari. Just ask for it. I know because like you go, if you want to eat it, you would go to the restaurants and for restaurants like to make it like more tasty, they put meat in it and then, or they put like a layer, like a little bit from, from either like eggs or um, uh, chicken. But actually when we make it home, we don't put that in it. And I don't like to eat anything in it. Like, um, yeah. So Mari, you might like one day like ask if they do have it without that because it's like it's just addition. But the real does not have to have this. Okay, the family I was in, they put some cups. I don't know how to call that in English. Cups, like a little bit of, uh, yeah. We say cylinder and we say nuts. Yeah, I have no idea what uh, Joanna what did is in the States. So, you know, I do speak English, but I don't like, um, when I learned, like, because I learned myself first, so I didn't learn the things that um, I wouldn't need. <laughs> That was a bad thing. Yeah, I learned like some words, but it's different. And I wouldn't know like which English that, uh, which word like it's the, the use in the States or the use in uh, Britain. So, yeah. 
the cups of meat. Yeah, I was like wondering the same. Uh, just like a little bit of meat. But I actually like, I don't like really, I never like, um, like I'm not never, like I do eat meat and everything, but I don't like herira with, uh, with any like pieces of meat or chicken. Shivam, yeah, of course, because you never went to Morocco yet. Uh, is this herira receipt? Oh no no Hassan, I'm not giving a, like a herira receipt. I'm just like um, teaching the names of spices and herbs in uh, Darija. Oh yeah, chicken stock. Bean. Uh, yeah, 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 I know, like, uh, the ones that, like, like, really small, but actually, we, if, like, if I'm, um, if I'm cooking and I didn't want to put them, I wouldn't put them, so, but there is, like, one, like, for, like, harira, but not, like, for chicken or something, some people do to make it tasty, but actually, we don't, like, so, me and my sister are trying to eat healthy, so we don't, like, buy this kind of things anymore, like, we used to in the past, because this is like, for the wrong run, it might like be bad for the the health, might cause cancer or something like that. So we don't use it anymore, and it's still herira, like it still tastes the same. Yes, yeah, yeah. I got married. What that the cups that you were talking about? Like when I actually personally, I no longer use it, but a lot of Moroccans like still using it. Shivam shinhar, inshallah. Yeah, there is like a little cups of meat, like like a like a powder, but it's like a little sticky and it's like just like this. It's like like really small. Uh, yes, it's like either like, it like have the taste of chicken or of like um of meat, any kind of meat and stuff like this. And people like put it with the food like to make like the taste even stronger. And but yeah, I don't use it personally. <laughs> Yeah, like a billion cups. Uh, we don't need meat in Harira Mari. Yeah, Hassan, like she, yeah, just, she was like talking about like Kanor, um, if you know like Darija. So, yeah, but some people like put like little, like little pieces of meat or little pieces of chicken or like the cups that like Mari was talking about. So, yeah. They are vegetables, bread, cups too. Uh, yes, yes, uh, Joanna, like I actually don't believe in these things and I don't use them. Uh, I haven't actually used any of these like cups, like probably, uh, I don't know, many years ago. I make one, make own because they have a full additive. Yes, yes, exactly, Alex. I mean, like, the real food, it's going to be like a real one, and it's still going to taste good. So I don't believe in additions, because they are just like, it's like additions, like it's like already like, so it doesn't like give any healthy thing. Yeah, Moroccan women don't use the cups, they make their own. yeah okay um so yeah actually like it's like in morocco like you can find different kind of um uh you know different kind of people like different kind of uh, kitchen like how people cook is differently not the same uh but you know like it different from a person to person Well, let me see where I stopped. I'm like just trying to see where I stopped. Yeah, I was talking about med news is parsley. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was talking about like med news and now let's talk about this. This is what we put it in Hrida as well. Is the crafts. Carafets and uh, yeah, of course, like we put it like to a little pieces, and it's very healthy, as you know. And it's called carafets, carafets, cra, cra, carafets. 
okay? Krafas. And I think this is like easy word because it doesn't have any weird sound, right? <laughs> See you ladies, you late again. Good morning. Yeah, we're talking about spices, Yula, and now like we are almost in herbs. Yes, uh, 30 minutes late. <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. No worries. Like the live is going to say, um, and when I record them, it's like say on my uh, channel, so. Okay, so yeah. Uh, Suri is a crafts. Crafts. So this is like used to be actually expensive in Morocco, but now because uh, in quarantine and um, restaurants were like closed, and uh, so like a lot of food they become like cheaper because uh, there is not everyone like taking a lot of them, and now it's like cheap, and I'm like I'm so happy because I do and get like a bunch of. Uh, uh, Spanish and it's called in um, Darija Sabanich Sabanich Sa Sabanich Sabanich Okay, so Sabanich Sabanich just like it's like not hard, uh, just with the p, a b instead of like p, and it's like slightly different Sabanich. Okay. شكون كيعجبو السبانخ؟ هو لايك سبينش سبانخ؟ I like it with eggs. بنين. Eggs makes it like good. So yes, السبانخ. So we talked القزبر السبانخ معدنوس كرافس. Yes, so rosemary. Um, please guys, let me know like what do you do like with rosemary? Like, we actually don't cook with this. I don't know why. It's called Eklil. Eklil. Okay, I wrote it wrong. Eklil. Eklil. Jebel. Eklil. 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 Jebel. It's rosemary. Okay, so I think like some like areas in Morocco, they call it differently. But this still will understand Iklil Jabal. Okay, rosemary is Iklil Jabal. Iklil Jabal. Something that I don't eat often, just because I don't see it often and I can't find it often, is I probably didn't eat it probably like 10 years ago, something. Uh, is the okra, Lamlochia. Lamlochia. And um, I don't know why, but I don't hear. Yeah. Yes, Alex, <laughs> it's like really good. I like the banana, the banana smoothie. Yes, acid yell sabanikh with banana. Well, ah, yes, this was the word like I was like uh, asking, like I was like thinking about. Yes, azir, it's called also azir. The fun thing, like, uh, we don't, um use it in cooking a lot so actually it's like we uh, my sister like using it for like um uh diy like for like hair uh preppers like uh, to for her hair to smell good or i don't know like a hair face or something so yeah but if i would like yeah i would like look how to use this in food if they use it i don't know how to use it <laughs> so yes it's called also azir that's good. That's good. It's good that you uh, have that word because in my mind I was like I I heard like another word for it, and is azir, and it's easier azir. Azir is rosemary. I would like add it here, rosemary. Iklil jabal is also came from standard Arabic, modern standard Arabic. And uh, yeah, but I do hear both. I do hear both, and also because in Sali and Rabat, it's like um, it's like someone, it's like New York, it's like different people from different places. So you would hear like a lot of um, different uh, accents, different. You going to hear like different words for like different things, but still we still going to understand each other. For example, we said Azir. I know, like I heard it before. 
Okay, so let's see what do I have. Yes, I like this one. Is actually make people like. Yes, actually, fun, fun thing. Yeah, we see a uh, a uh, for yes. Uh, some uh, different places they see a year, a year, or they say like um, naam or, but mostly like I see a. Uh. <laughs> it's like funny ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the chamomile is called babunj, 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 okay, babunj, 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 mzian, babunj, mzian, it's like healthy as well, okay, so yeah, if you didn't know like how to pronounce something, please let me know. So I think babunj is not hard for pronunciation. It's just like it has vowels. It has the normal consonants, like consonants. So yeah. Uh, for someone asked me about kale before. We don't have a name for it, or I don't know the name. And I never seen kale in um, in Morocco actually. I never seen it like in the grocery stores uh, where I live. I just like never seen it. Never seen it. And by the way, any um, any kind of uh, for us like that looks like um, um, like lotus. It's like it's called khos. Like all the kind of like uh, lotus. Like I know it's like it has different names in English. Uh, if it's like uh, to have a different, it's like shamame. It's like it looks like a flower and it's like a yellow flower. And uh, it's like yellow and has like white leaves, like and it's small. Do you do you know like what I'm talking about? And actually, we use it like um, we use it like dried, and people like put it with the tea. Uh, it makes them like um, it makes them really. But actually, it's like chamomile. I just like noticed that I didn't write it like uh, correctly. Is like this. Chamomile is the bunch. Chamomile. I don't know like how to pronounce it in English, but it's like called babunj. And it's just like a, like a flower. It's a flower. I don't know. Do you know like you know what I'm talking about? It's like a flower and um, it has another name. I think it's like with the cow. And it's like, um, yes, I think it didn't make honey with it. It's like also has this name. No, no, no. Babunj is is the flower that is called. Ah, yeah. It's like Alex. Thank you. Shukran. Uh, it's like also is like a chamomile. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> Yes, uh, and this is like something hard in English. When we find like a new word that we don't know, we would like uh, we would like say, okay, is this pronounced or not? You wouldn't know like what silent truth and what not. I like well for today. <laughs> Looks so tired. Yes, it's called babunj. 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 Shandak al babunj. Washandak al And this is like we don't use this as often. But actually, we used to eat it when we were kids. We would like find it like uh, outside <laughs> somehow. We would like eat it uh, as kids. And it's called al hummida. Al hummida. As like kind of greens and. Um, do you sometimes cook it with mix of other greens, but not as often. But uh, I don't know, like if you that have it in your own country, but it's called Hamida. Hamida. I looked it up and I found its name in English. So for us, it's called Hamida. It's not something we eat like uh, in daily or weekly. Something like uh, it's like mixed with greens. They would eat it like once a while. But mostly, like people in the countryside or the villages they would eat it like more because they have like more greens or they grow greens or something like that so yes so as i said like any uh, kind of uh, of like lotus 
is all of them called for asl khos just because we don't have like uh, each like name for each like different lotus so when i go for example to the store owner who's like buying like a different kind of khos i will be like shhal khos like how much is like the khos and he would tell me in a wahad like which one and i will be like hadak like this one or this one so the old like called khos and i actually pick myself so uh it's like and actually it's just it's like very in like the normal socks like the normal like markets like the outside one uh, it's not the supermarkets it's like very cheap yes actually i used to eat it i don't know i don't remember how it tastes like i don't eat it anymore but i used to when i was good and um yeah i wouldn't say i'm a fan i wouldn't say the opposite Anyway, it's called the Hummesa. And uh, this, this one is actually, it's called the same. But I don't, uh, we don't use this as often. There's a lot of like green things and herbs uh, in Morocco. And some of them are famous more than the others. But I just give that the things that we, we really use. So for this one, like I don't find it as often. And also broccoli, and uh, also you know the the broccoli like uh, we use like same name for it like broccoli, and uh, it's not something like we grow as like a Moroccan thing. So it's like mostly expensive now because of quarantine. As I explained, it's like things are cheaper in like when it comes to fruits and vegetables, but um, it wasn't like something we would like eat. As often, we would like eat cauliflower, and it's like the Moroccan one. And um, broccoli is not like uh, it wasn't as like uh, as known as like nowadays because now like because of social media and people like watch YouTube videos and what other people in other countries eat and all of that. Do you, like know like broccoli is healthy, and now they want to eat it, and now like it's become like it's like a thing. So how do we how do you write? Uh, this one, this yes. hadi that is headache. Okay, you'll be like, "Atini, atini hadi." Like, give me this, or "Atini hadi," and uh, "Lella, meshi hadik, hadik." <laughs> so you would like, um, you can say, for example, "Atini." Headache. Okay, so let me like uh, explain something. So headache is like when you talk about something masculine. Headache is like for masculine object, for masculine things. And headache is for feminine things. And the uh, hadi, it was like for this feminine, and hada is for this masculine. Okay, I think I, I wrote it all. <laughs> okay, so you would see hadi for something feminine, for example. Shhal hadi, if I'm talking about, for example, uh, matisha, like which is like tomato, and I would say like uh, hada, if I'm talking about like banan, or I'm talking about khos, something masculine, I would say hadak, and I would add the case, mean that, if something masculine, like khos. So khos is like lotus, and uh, is like uh, masculine, because it's ending with s, khos, so I would say shhal hadak, like how much is that, or any hadak. Uh, if it's something feminine, uh, for example, let's look for feminine word, um, avuka. I would like shhal uh, hadik. Uh, if I forgot the word, I would like just like shhal hadik, and uh, he would like reply. So this is how we use it. Please, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Write me what you need, and I would like to uh, translate and explain it. 
So hedek, hedek is like that, something when something is far. Hadik is like for feminine, and if something far, hadik, hadik, like over there, hadik, that thing over there. So hadi is like for uh, something here. So for example, um, um, hadi halwa, this is like a candy. And if I'm talking about like something masculine, I would say hada. For example, hada formage. This is like cheese, hada formage. Okay, hada formage americani. This is like American cheese. Something like that. This is how you, you would use this. I hope it's, it's understandable, Alex. So hadi, hadak. I need, I need. Let me see what that is first. Okay. I don't know what's that. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, heel. We call uh, the first one, this one, let me write it for you. This is like really easy, easy, is the heel. We do use this, the heel, and the time, and uh, this is in, um, it's called like a uh, zatter. It's like a different way of zatter. Let me write it also. Zatter, zatter, zatter. And the other one is lhil, lhil, lhil. And the three, again, so lhil, zatter. And let's now see this one. Um, I don't know what's that. Uh, it's like probably it's going to be the same word as French. Because when we have like... I don't know like what it's called this one. It's like... Um, so I don't know where it's come from. So I don't want to give like a wrong name. I never seen this. I'm talking about this one. But it's like when we don't have something, it's like from French. Probably that. Yes, it's like good. Like we do have like two different of like Zetter. Let me uh, answer Mary first. Let me see what its shape is in pictures. Do you mean uh, by shives or whatever? It's like um, uh, the onion that uh, is like like very tall, and uh, is actually is like called onion, but we we call it basla khadaria. Is basla is like from like onion basla. And we would say khadariya. Let me. Okay, I don't know if if you have like a difference between that. Like, uh, you you talking about like um, erenjo? So we do use it like we have like dry ones. Actually, we don't use the leaves like the green ones. So we use like the dried one, like like both of them. So for us, it's like same is like same. We use them either like as a powder or like as like dried leaves, and. Um, Let me check like one more time. I'm checking for the picture to see like if it's like there is any difference. 
Okay, so to run drone, this is like what the Moroccan textbook said about it. But like for the um, for the time, the one that's um, that like I give to um, who ask like Christian. So this is like called Zatar. It does called Zatar for like 100%. Uh, but as also like we do have like um, different kind of Zatar. We have like two and uh, we have like Zaitra and Zatar. I don't know the difference with them, without them, but we, we both use them. That's great. I never thought of, uh, about this actually. Uh, but yeah, uh, we do buy like um, Zatar, the thyme or like whatever you call it in English is like we use it. You know what? Uh, so to make sure like that all the names like for like uh, pe other people in other countries is same. I'm going to make a video and put pictures of what I'm talking about. So everyone be, I, I wish like if I had pictures to show but for us, like zatter, we don't use it as leaves. We use them like dried. It's like never like a green leaf. Like we always like dry them. Uh, yeah. It's like easy. Pudra. Pudra. We would like say pudra. And we would say like of. And yes. For example, oh, pudra. Pudra. DL Tuma and uh, yes, I don't use the powder of this two, but some people do. I use the real ones <laughs> and I cut them to pieces. So, to cut something to pieces is like can qattar. So, the verb is qattar is like to. I forget in English. And to cut. I just like say it. To cut. So, and I said, can cut. Can cut. It's like, I cut. Can cut. I cut them. So you can see the next one is. Okay. By the way, what I give actually uh, today is like what really we use like in uh, every day, like from now and then. Uh, but the ones that I didn't give is like we don't like really use them. So the curry is like I think it's already called the curry. And we don't use it. It's like the things that we use, like these things, like we use it like for like a beauty purpose, like women, like old women, uh, they would like use things and they would like make recipes from it and uh, do it like either like for the hair, either like for, um, you know, like any like beauty thing. So yes, this is what they use it for, but we never like use curry leaves for, for anything besides that. But yeah, I, we never like use this in um, in the kitchen. But I, I do like remember like in my old house, like they used to have like, um, yes, hara is spicy. We used to have like a, like a, like different like trees. And I remember that women, they used like to take a little bit from like the leaves and they would like mix it and boil it. And they would like, uh, you know, you know, like mix it with um, uh, with henna, and they would like do that to their hair. So oil is zit, zit, zit. Moroccan man, salam alaikum. Uh, Joanna is like something like needed like more spices or more salt is like when it's like already cooked we would like say uh, basil 
I would say like these things is like doesn't is like tasteless. It's like can need like more like spices. And I would say like uh, had she in an order of the sentence had she basil. Like this is tasteless. Uh, and also the word basil is mean like uh, the tropical some guys or girls. Um, if we would say basil, it mean like the uh, kids who are naughty, you can say basil. Uh, but for food, it means actually like tasteless. It like doesn't taste as good. Need more spices. For example, I can say had had like that had the so had and this so basil. I can say that. Vessel. <laughs> okay, try to. Uh, so actually, that is like it's going to be like a negative comment on food. But if you want like to go like, uh, how about this, Grace? We actually we either use the slang. Okay, so we see jawar. Jawar. Is like it came up. up amazing, but it's like kind of slang, still not bad. Uh, like, alhamdulillah, uh, recommend Like, we already been here for like almost like it's like 50 minutes. You're late, that Uh, okay, so let me see what who said something. Yes. Okay, I'm like chicken. If like I miss, I need more. Okay, need more spices. Hasso. Has. Has zido latria. Okay, let me go for sentence to sentence. I don't want like to answer one and not answer the others. Okay, who else asked? I like it spicy. So for Mary. Okay, Jibni. Har, or you will say Kay Jibni. Kay Jibni Bazar. Bazar. Kay Jibni Har or Kay Jibni Bazar. Miss Susa is like specifically is like if it's missing like like salt. It's not as if, if it's missing spices. So basil is like it's missing everything. It's like um it's like there is like less spices and less salt. But Miss Susa is like um is like missing. Like missing salt or no salt. So Susa. It's mean the couscous is taste less. Taste. The couscous is tasteless. Doesn't taste less. It's miss. It's mean like it's missing. Um, it's missing like the, the 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 spices. Like spices, maybe the salt. Yes, maybe like it's not like enough oil, enough of something. It's mean it doesn't taste good. It's something missing in it. Okay, let me see if I answered everything. How do you say powder? And we need more spices. Yes, okay. You can ask me more about like the food, like about like how to say like if, uh, mm, and make it spicy. It's spicy. For it's spicy is ha har. If it's like uh, feminine, if it's if it's masculine, it's feminine, you're going to add the A. 
حار أو حارة. Okay. Yes. So to see it's like missing a specific thing, thing you would say like it's missing salt. Or to say my, for example, it's, or like um, it needs more salt, you would say in Darija. Naqso. Naqso al Naqso. So naqas is like minus, is like, and also it's like uh, it needs, and also it's like it's missing something. So you can see naqso al milha, you can say naqso al bazar, naqso in spices, naqso zit, like it's missing like oil, which means like something is missing. It's like uh, you can see that. Naqso al milha. Or you can say naqso shwiyat al milha, like a little bit of first salt. Like I like couscous a little bit like um like missing salt, like a little bit not so salty. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And also like what we can say. Uh to talk to someone and tell him till zar. To tell them, like, you added, like, more than what needed of, like, um, for example, black pepper. So you can say, Tirti. you increased, I don't know if that sentence sounds, like, correct in English. You increased the black pepper. Okay. So, Kittirti Lubzar. Kittirti Lubzar. So kitsirti is come from ksar, from more, and come like from like uh, more and more. So kitsirti is like you increased, you made like you put like more, like more than it needed. Tirti lbzar, kitsirti lbzar. Okay. So kitsirti lbzar like um naqso al milha is like it's missing salt. What is we can say? What else we can say about like uh, spices? So okay, so some people like naturally they don't know how to cook. If if someone, for example, cooks something and the other ones to say like, "Was that?" and I mean doesn't taste good. This is what we say actually when something does not taste good. We believe like ash had she ash, or we would say. No, had she. I mean, like, what's that? I'll be like, eating something, I'll be like, Ash had she. Mm, Ash had she. <laughs> or Shnu had she. Because some people say, like, so S and Shnu is like, mean what? And uh, you know, it, it depends on different areas. Some people like would say Shnu, and some people they would say Ash. Shnu had she. Basil. You can say like basil, or you can say like kitirti bazaar, kitirti bazaar. Like you increase the black pepper, you put like a lot, lots of uh, black pepper, or you can say this is like missing salt. Okay, and also you can like, for example, say um, it's sunny now. Like I'm so happy that the sun is like coming out. I think. Uh, <laughs> to bring your own jar or content for Hanout, but the spice is directly inside this when you, when you buy the spices. Yes, actually, um, uh, Mary, uh, if you want it to, like, that's, like, really normal. Uh, if you want it, like, to bring your own jar and you'll be, like, um, Delia, like, uh, put, like, over there, Jodrahim uh, Diel, like two germs, for example, of something or five germs. For henut, that's totally okay, yeah. If you went like, to, to the supermarket, you would like already find this in boxes. But for henut, like you can do that.
of the the herbs is the greens like one of the green oh yes no more no more you will say baraka yes absolutely moroccan men like moroccan women like know how to cook everything pretty much it's it's raining here in India right now. <laughs> it's actually very sunny. It wasn't sunny when I started the live. It was like very gloomy, but now like the sun is like coming out and like you hear me well. Uh, by the way, like yesterday night, I I didn't go live because I already said like yesterday night I was like teaching and Wi-Fi was like okay and I was like it plays game with me whenever I'm like live it does not work. And when I'm not live, it does work. So this is like what's happened. When I go and talk to them, they would say like, well, there is no problem. So, or they would say like, okay, I'm going to fix it and nothing change. Yes. Um, Kithu, I don't know like what's your like real name, but yes, I am in Morocco. We're in England. <laughs> It's been like I'm lucky, but I also like I see like I really missed like uh, the rain, uh, the rain in um, Morocco, and also because it didn't it did not like uh, rain a lot like this year. So not as I want to. I do like every season season, but yes. Or about like okay, so Alex is from England, and um, Shivam is from India. So Mary, you're from France right? Is it like sunny over there or is it like raining? What about you, Joanna? Joanna, how is the weather over there? How is the, I'm going to write it in the region. How is the weather over there? So to say that in Darija is actually really easy. Kidair is like same as how are you? Kidair, Ljou, Ljou is the weather. Timma is like over there. Kidair, Ljou, Timma. The sun just came up, uh, but no rain. This <laughs> team over here is like the, the sun is like already like you can't see like now clearly like before it was like, it was like same if it was like nighttime, but now yes. So yes, uh, to ask about the weather, we say like Kidai El Jo over there, like Kidai El Jo. If you are want to say in general how's the weather, you Kidai El Jo, Kidai El Jo, Kidai El. You already like we use it like all the time, and then we say Jo. Uh, yes, and Mohammed, I was born and raised in Italy, and I'm trying to fix my daddy. Uh, welcome, uh, Mohammed, and yeah, welcome to people in Italy. Are you still like um, not allowed to go out like in Italy? I know, like I have some cousins in over there, but I haven't talked to them in a while. But yeah, I hope that you would find everything is like helpful over here. Is that the weather in Los Angeles? Uh, California is perfect. I think it's very similar to Morocco. Yes, everyone know that. Like uh, everyone jealous, like from people in California, because the weather is always sunny and warm and perfect. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of like similar to Morocco. I think um, maybe like in California is hotter than uh, in my city. I think so. Um, kind of shop. Nadia Shivam in the shop. Is the west south of France? Sma Marmia. I'm trying to remember. I don't know if that's like um, Marmia. Yeah, we can say that. Sma Marmia is like gloomy. Yes. Sma is the sky. So you have Alex is like two ways, either to say like I'm jealous, like uh, as an adjective or as a verb, and we use both of them, and I would give both of them to so say I'm jealous. Jealous.
past tense because you just said it like a moment ago. We would say like غرت غرت or أنا مغيار but it's actually give a adjective of like I'm a jealous person. Maybe. So the adjective is actually mostly like used for like um, to describe someone who is jealous of of someone, but not in positive way. It's mean like jealous either in a relationship or something. So this is why like when we want to say like I'm jealous of something like uh, you know fun thing about like uh, either. Um, so yeah, I said like we mostly use the verb like غرت. Um, and I would say like غرت منك like I'm jealous of you and it's still like a fun thing to say so yes Alex is like you can say that ah ناري and I would say like oh غرت and I would like say something like that but I wouldn't like use the adjective because it's more serious Madnus is like parsley. Like I already like um I give it and I wrote it like separately because it's just like I wanted to help them with the pronunciation. But this is how it's written like normally. Uh yeah, I'm talking to Chivam. Yes, I yeah, I wanted to say. Um okay, uh, Shivam, this is like very uh, strict forward. <laughs> And um, is not positive at all, and it can't be used uh, in a fun situation from jealousy. Like, and it's like it's, it's become like very serious. But to make it a little bit soften, no, no. Okay, so Chivam, this is all like in a serious situations. It can't be in like a fun way. To give like the positive ones. Um, so sick. Um, jealous, jealous of you, but it's still positive. I would like have to emphasize on positive and negative because I don't want you to use something, and in English it's still the same, but in Narija is not the same. So if I use it like as a verb, it's like it makes it like less harsh. If I use it as an adjective or as it's like a little bit harsh. So I would like say I you or I'm jealous of you because you are in like a good country with a good weather, but I wouldn't use the other ones. So please uh when you take notes, write like next to it if it's positive or negative in a serious situations. You see what I mean? Um, in this, if you are talking like to a very good friend who already know you and they wouldn't go, get mad if like uh, if like you said something like that, yeah, you know, if they get the the jokes not like being like very sensitive. Yes, me right. If uh, yeah, but I can. Let's go to my um, Yes, I would still my sad, but I would like use this with my friends, not with someone I barely know or someone I don't know, because they would get it in a negative way. Especially with Moroccans, they would always like if you you don't know them enough, they would like take it from uh, a negative way instead of like positive way, unless if you are like laughing and you know. Uh, we use it in our hands, I would be like, ah, oh, no, 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 or something like that. So, and about the spices, Ras Hanus. I just about this. I can, can you say this about, um, let's use this a lot. 
Yes, we actually use Ras Uh We mostly like, but I don't know how you're going to use it because actually like we use it like with meat, but not as often. Yeah, we use it with meat. Yeah, we use it with meat. Yeah, we use it with meat. That's the only uh, way we use it. We use it with meat, you know, in like a Eid Kabir, like um, in the holiday when we have like, uh, you know, the sheep and uh, we eat a lot of meat and we use it actually with the, uh, how to say that, masal, like the sweet meat, like when we put it and we would like put with it like, um, like the, like, Beep. I forgot the word beep. But yeah, we, we use it with meat. We wouldn't use it any other way. It's like a mix of spices, but not like the daily spices. It's like I don't know what the why they put what they put in that mix spices because we always buy it as like a, as mix, but we don't really use it with anything except here, except with the meat. How do you say something like, "What's up?" Yeah, I do have like that. Because we would say a slang and we would say like wa wafin. It's like wafin sahbi. And also like we like uh it's like same as the American like bro and says we do have it in a slang to say like a bro instead of hoya, you would say like a sat and for like says you would say a sata and uh, yes so you would say like afin sata is like either afin or wafin but like mostly like afin okay so yeah christian <laughs> so this is like slang ones like it's not it, it's not a bad slang like guys use it uh when someone like try to say something curd it was like Afin asat, and you, they would like really emphasize afin, afin, afin asat. So sat, or if you are talking to a girl, you'd say sata. It's like bro says can do that. Rasul <laughs> Hanus mal gamila. Yes, yes, Moroccan man. So Rasul Hanus is like mostly like with meats in like uh, in like pots. So, yes. I'm open in to any question before we finish. So yeah, you can ask me anything you want. Did I answer everything? What is Shia Jay? I don't know if like you mean she a day or she a day. Oh, um, so you mean like Alex at uh, the tea that they put like milk in it and they would like um, milk and something with it? We actually, we only have like Moroccan tea and we don't have iced tea and uh, like it starts to change. We don't even like have matcha everywhere in the world, like in Morocco. Like we start, like they started to be open because a lot of like foreigners ask about like matcha or mocha or whatever like um and about this kind of like drinks and because it wasn't in the tradition now like they are like uh, kind of trying but you wouldn't find like normal restaurants having it okay i'm uh, indian spices tea no no we don't have yeah it's just like the mint tea we have just like the mint tea Anything, I do drink different teas, but I made them at home because like I search and I try new, th new things, but in the, um, mostly in the coffees, like they only have like either black tea or like green tea, like Moroccan one with mint or without mint. Okay. Sabah Sabah al I don't know what he said, <laughs> but good morning. Uh, yeah, Alex, I feel jealous like some countries have everything. <laughs> it's like still like a mint tea is, the, is like the best. I love it. But yeah. Yes, Sam. Yes, I did like uh, wrote that earlier. Yes, saffron is saffron. Uh, saffron with the with the, with the number three like after the Z. 
What do you call dry true spirits? What is dry true? The word. It seems like I screamed at you. <laughs> Sorry. Let me see that first. Uh, when you pay, you true pay through the paper. Do you know if it's better if it puts working time with this matter to use the end of point to receive in terms of getting the charged and getting cash and exchange rates? Okay, is it Isabel mostly like when people like send me money through PayPal? Uh, they can send it by Moroccan dirham, so they would like send it by euro or like dollars or like um, the England pounds, like uh, pounds is the steering. And when I do get them in uh, PayPal, I get them by this currency. So actually it's already, they already like charge like $1 or something like that or more, depending on how much they send. And after that, if I want like to, you know, to transfer it to my bank, like PayPal, like uh, going like to change it to Moroccan dirham, but they wouldn't charge me. But at the first, like if someone sent me money, they still like they would like make it less. They would still like um, share, like uh, not have like the same payments as someone sent. So yes, I get like charged for like uh, being sent <laughs> somehow, but not when I want to like, transfer my money to. But the currency change actually. I think uh, like nowadays it's like so bad. The dollar is like become like very low is um is actually is like become like less than like 10 dirhams and um when i say to people like um uh, like in moroccan dirhams and i would try to tell them in dollars is like not the same anymore because dollars is become really low i don't know why but uh, the oil is like a little bit still 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 good and um, i think like uh uh the um, what is it called the pound serum, like the British money, is still like good. So yeah, I think like uh, it's like things changing because of quarant because of Corona. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I like, answered your question, but yeah, the I do get charged. Uh, minty at a banana. Yes, Mary. Like um, minty is at a banana. Yeah, we'll see that. Sorry, Alex, I just like saw with that you wrote like what is mint. I didn't see that. So when you said like mint tea and uh, I thought like you're saying like uh, in Morocco it is if there is like just like mint tea. I didn't think that you're talking about like uh, the translation. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, yes, actually, okay, so uh, for like, um, what do you, you know, who said that? Like, yes, Sam. So, Sam, this is called just like a word, a word. And we take it from the guy who's like stealing the, stealing the spices and all of that, and it's called actually Al-Attar. So, Mulhanus is like just like selling like anything like for food, but for the spices, Hanus is also have spices like the store, but there is like a car. People who went to Morocco, they know what I'm talking about. Like there is like a place is specifically for herbs and um, for like uh, spices and all of the good thing. So we call him actually Latar. Latar is the store that um, sell spices. Herbs, this kind of things. Yes. So his name is Al Attar. So the guy like that has like a store that sell only like uh, spices and herbs. Uh, we do have them like separately. And and this is like really good because you know because when you sell like herbs and spices like they have like a strong smell and we like you people like want, don't want like that like smell it goes to something else like to take the smell out from it so yes is like called latar and Sam yes the dried rose pencil is called Lord 
Ma'am, how do you say this? Yeah, uh, Azil, I already answered this one. Like it's like in the chat before. So this is either like Hadam or masculine. And Hadi, if you are talking about something feminine. So that is Hadak or Hadik. Oh, yes, Sam, you already went. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, because like there are like too many different smells. You would like, uh, you wouldn't even like know what are you smelling because it's like too many things. This moment she enters in your mind. I don't know why I feel, why I feel this one man. I don't understand what um, I understand the senses. But are you saying that to me, or like you know the natural things? I I like herbs. It's like not good to use them like a lot. The select might have like any, any like some effects. But um, I try my best to avoid medication. So whenever I get sick or something, I would like try something natural. But I would still like um. But I don't get sick as often, so I'm glad. But if anyone like know any spices or any like uh, herbs or anything that is good for migraine, I'm really open to hear that <laughs> because no medication helps me with that. So if I bring my own jar to the attar, how do I say to the city, can you fill me the jar with? Yeah, you would say like, um, I'm going to give it like letter to you. Oh, so invite me. Wahan Amr Liam Rukarha Okay, so let's practice this sentence. Uh, this is like Mary sentence. You would see Wahha. So Wahha gives me can you, would you uh uh is like also like it makes it like more polite. Wahha Tamar is like to fill. Wahha Tamar. Lia is like to me. Al uh, Qara is the jar, is like mostly like the glass, the jar of glass. Al Qara is like wood, and then you would like add whatever you wanted to say. Okay. Wacha tamar Lia al Qara b. Wacha tamar Lia al Qara b. Okay. Yeah, spices are strong, but this is how you know they are like really good and are new because if it doesn't smell, it mean like if it's it's an old spice, it mean like uh, there is no use of it. Like you have to smell it. Yes, yes, I'm going to do that next actually because we already finished with fruits, uh, with vegetables, with her with herbs and uh, with. Um, uh, spices so what left now is like to do the ta at the taxi and then like at the doctor and you know conversational thing i'm actually going to try to be live tonight and i really hope that um uh it's like it's going to work because sometimes like the wi-fi is like very bad during the night so yeah uh, so what do you mean like a juana by the, the ginger ale? You know, the, you mean like the drink that have ginger? Like, uh, or like uh, water that have ginger or something like that. Uh, you, you might find it. If you are talking about the drink with the ginger, the ginger <laughs> with skins, various. Uh, Yes, absolutely, Christian. If we, I'm going to do that next. Making shmushki ilakein ula, ilakein ula meshikein. Yes, we're going to do. We're going to talk about the taxi driver. I know, Christian, like you really need that because you go to Morocco and they would like charge you for more than, like it is. 
but okay it's not because you are like a foreigner like it did do, do that to the um, to the people who are already in morocco also so if i went to another city and it's like new city and, I, and they would know like i'm not like from that city and i wouldn't know where his places are and i would like tell him like take me somewhere and you know like i'm not from there so what they're going to do is they're going like to um go in a long like round so instead of like going straight because they know like i wouldn't know so they would like charge me more and so it's not like, <laughs> So I know what she's talking about. As I can happen to a lot of people, especially if you go to Casablanca. And whenever I go to Casablanca, because I, Casablanca is a very big city, and I don't like go over there often. And uh, when I went once, and I felt it, I saw I felt it. I was like, uh, I told him to take me somewhere, and uh, he looked at me, and because already like it was like from gas station, so. Uh, Yes, I feel that he is like uh, like going like on circle. And I was like, uh, are you, I, you know, like I already know like it's not so far from here, but I don't have any idea. But he charged me more. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, the joke on me. <laughs> so yes, can and let me see here. Um, yes, every time I am sick, I drink ginger ale. It's like crazy, like soda pop. I uh, yes, actually they do have it. I don't know like what's called the brand, what it's called, but you wouldn't have like find it in a in a store. If you went like to the big supermarkets, they have everything, but I didn't see it in um like uh, in Hanuts, like in the stores, like normal stores. They like just buy like normal sodas or lemon. There is like a lemon soda. It's like good also, but not like um, everything you need. Um, Alex, hello, Wajib. Yeah, uh, don't, don't search me there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, Christian. Like, I can imagine, I can only imagine. Yeah, it's good to be in the Latina face. Yeah, and I know, like, but honestly, Shiva, I'm like, a lot of people call me, like, uh, they ask me if you are a Latina or if you are a Moroccan. I don't know why. No, they don't like you. Sorry, be careful with the kind of jokes. Yeah, I know. Um, yes, so yes, Marie, like uh, taxi drivers are not everyone, like, isn't, they are not bad with, the, and I'm talking about the money when it comes like. Uh, for like, um, for example, if they know like they, you don't know the place, they will like uh, take it like a long run, so they would charge you like more money. Uh, like uh, sometimes it's bad, but sometimes like you would find like good people who would like go straight to the place and to not and charge you just like what you get. But yeah, I think um, not everyone is bad. I think it's everywhere in the world. Not just like in Morocco. Yes. So yeah, I'm uh, actually I have to go. The question I would answer before I go is already like one hour and a half. And yeah, it's like it was good to see you here. And um, I see you tonight, inshallah. I would like try to go live tonight, and uh, hopefully it would like work as good as we want. And yeah. Actually, like, uh, I still have, like, some surprises and uh, some, like, good content that is going to come next month, inshallah. So I can't wait for that. Like, I'm working on it. Um, yeah. So, yes, if you don't, know, don't have any question, if you don't have any question, I'll see you in the next video, inshallah. Well, bye bye. <laughs> I'm going to end the live. <laughs> bye.